Welcome to Root Health, and today we're going to be talking about the three overlooked causes of depression and treatments for each one of them. Depression is super common, affecting one in five people throughout their lifetime, and we need to look at the underlying causes behind what's going on and not just put someone on a pill that's only putting a band-aid on it. So, number one, nutrient deficiencies and food allergies. So, you want to try something like an elimination diet. Gluten, avoid gluten, dairy, and sugar and see how you feel on it. I'm sure you'll start feeling better. Uh, you want to start taking a multivitamin. Our food and our soul is not what it used to be, so I start recommending to supplement with a high-quality, food-based, magnesium stearate-free and additive-free vitamin. It's, uh, and minerals behind it as well. You do want to start having food and protein sources that have L-tryptophan in it. Uh, reason behind this is because L-tryptophan is a precursor to serotonin, which is the happy uh, neurotransmitter. And over 90% of our serotonin is created in our gut. So there is a gut-brain connection going on, and that's why you've got to pay attention to the gut. This will also, serotonin will also turn into melatonin as well. So you see where this is going. Melatonin is going to help with sleep, and sleep is a big factor as well. Uh, so nutrient deficiencies, big food allergies as well with that. Number two, this is not really talked about, especially with um, people that uh, are get older and they have poor circulation and hardened of the arteries. Uh, you want to support your heart with this. So this is going to be things like CoQ10, which I want to add on here. Statins, you need to avoid statins or take, you will definitely have to take more CoQ10 if you do have statins, which statins are cholesterol lowering drugs. I don't recommend it to even get on them. There's ways to naturally lower your cholesterol without taking a pill, but CoQ10 is huge for heart health. You want to be taking that and circulation. Uh, magnesium. That is going to be really big because there is a connection between calcium and magnesium. There's a relationship and you want to uh, balance that out so the calcium doesn't deposit in the arteries. You want it to be balanced. Uh, oh, this is big too. Fat loss and exercise. You want to be moving daily and you want to make sure that you're not too overweight because that's going to... Fat pretty much just means toxic overload. So you're going to have a lot of toxins in your body and you've got to, that's going to make your circulation go much faster. Uh, vitamin E, um, I would take the tocotrienols version of vitamin E and vitamin C, but you see that's going to be in your multivitamin if you have a good one. Number three, the last one, adrenal fatigue. So this is interesting because is it actually depression or is it because your adrenals are giving out and they're really tired. So is it a tired heart or is it tired adrenals? Adrenals sit on top of the kidneys and they're like a walnut sized gland and they really affect your hormones which has a lot to do with mood. You want to reduce your caffeine intake. If you can try to avoid it but if you still need caffeine just reduce it by half. See how you feel. Start tapering off. Uh, more often than not if you start taking a multivitamin you won't even need caffeine because you're going to be getting your natural energy. And that's going to be because you're going to be getting things like vitamin B and C, which really help adrenal function as well. Last but not least, L-tyrosine. Just like L-tryptophan is the precursor to your happy little neurotransmitter named serotonin, L-tyrosine is going to be your neurotransmitter production for things like dopamine and norepinephrine, it's going, to, it's going to really help your adrenals to take the load off. There is so much more to depression than just these three though. It is only the close, it's, it's not the tip of the iceberg, but it's, it's because you want to get to the root of it, but uh, there's so much more to it and we'll be having other videos on this and feel free to reach out. I'm happy to talk to you. So give me feedback on this. I'm trying to make the videos a little bit shorter. So people, I know people have busy lives and I just want these to be like a daily thing where you just tune in and you're like, oh, that's cool. You know, like knowing that information because I want to educate you. I want you to be able to be your own doctor, you know. Uh, so have a great day. <laughs>